Happy Friday, everybody. Let's listen to this story and then stay tuned at the end for a little bit of a fantastic Friday fun activity that you can do if you would like. This book is called Scribble Stones and it was written and illustrated by Diane Auber. That makes Diane Auber the author and the illustrator. So what does the author do? And what does the illustrator do? Exactamundo, the author writes the book and the illustrator draws the pictures. This story is about one happy stone who was gray and round and rarely alone. He lived with the others all stacked in a pile and waited calmly with a large, friendly smile. Each stone had a purpose, but it wasn't known yet. Some would be landscaping and some a stone pet. There were so many things that the stones could be the hardest part was just waiting to see. Stone knew that his purpose would brighten someone's day. He just wasn't sure how or in what kind of way. He imagined the things that he might soon become as he watched all the stones get picked one by one. But his happy face slowly turned to a frown as he watched the tall pile start to dwindle on down. And although he was worried, he tried not to care until it was clear he was the last one there. Then it finally happened. Stone was quickly picked up. He was placed on a desk next to a very large cup. As Stone looked around, he thought, this is so great. But he soon discovered he was a dull paperweight. I'm supposed to bring happiness, not hold paper still. There must be a mistake. This just can't be my skill. Then all of a sudden, a splatter flew high, and then some bright scribbles came wiggling by. They were headed right toward the short paper stack, and they filled up the paper on the front and the back. They were all making art. It was happening so fast. Stone feared that the paper would simply not last. He couldn't believe just how much the pile grew. Then he heard a small cry from the fun splatter crew. We knew that this pile was getting too tall. There is no more paper. We have used it all. The scribbles all cried. They now saw it too. This is a disaster. Oh, what will we do? Stone didn't want the scribbles to cry, so he thought of something that they could all try. He slowly rolled down the very large pile and said, I know how to make you all smile. I know I'm not paper, but I like art too. Do you think you could spare some red, yellow, and blue? They loved the idea and could not wait to start. Scribble began making a happiness heart. Splatter then painted some pale baby blue. Another scribble added a sunny gold hue. It didn't take long before more stones showed up and soon the line grew behind the large red cup. To Stone's surprise, he was picked up once more. He had never heard of this happening before. More art was added and he was on his way to become a small gift to brighten someone's day. Nearby, another stone's journey had begun. He was spreading such happiness and having great fun. Every time he traveled, someone added their part. Sometimes just a scribble, sometimes fancy art. Now with each new layer, there was a story to share. And soon scribble stones were seen everywhere. They traveled the planet. It was quite an event, bringing happiness and fun wherever they went. Now thousands of stones inspire creativity each day, all because of a paperweight with a will and a way.
Awesome. So this says Scribblestone Art Project on the back. Scribble stones are intended to inspire creativity and spread happiness through collaborative art. Here is my challenge to you. If you'll remember, if you'll close your eyes and think on the way to the cafeteria, we see a river of stones. You might have to think really hard because you might have looked out as we're going to the cafeteria down the hallway towards the front door. On your right through those windows is a beautiful garden in Douglas, and there's a river of painted stones in it. Those stones were painted by kids in all the grades, some at Douglas still, and some are not at Douglas anymore because they went on to middle school. So I was thinking today it could be kind of fun if you went out and found your own stone and then painted all over it how what ever you want to paint on it. Decorate it as much as you want to. And then when we get back to school, we'll seal them up and take them out to the river wall together. To, I mean, to the river, um, the stone river together. Okay? Sound like a plan? Awesome. Thanks for listening, guys.